Hi, I've been away for four days over the bank holiday, the May bank holiday down to the south coast and two of the days we spent in Hastings for their celebrations which was quite magnificent. Uh, before I went last Friday morning, I, I roughed this one out. It's a much larger version of the one that I've done in two parts, the, the hedgerow on the broads, Norfolk. But I'm just working out a similar design, but on a larger scale, it's twice the size, probably bigger than twice the size. This is a board 20 inches by 16. But I want to put different, another plane in here, and I'll put another tree here. And I'm putting a bit of a, a bit of water in across there. But it's quite a formidable amount of texturing to do on this. So we're not going to do this in five minutes. So I was going to do this one just for myself and not share it, but it uh, seems such a waste. So we've gone so far with it. A uh, lot of black, a lot of burnt sienna, white, of course, and um, yellow ochre. The thing is, the, the weather's changing. That's really nice. And there's some lovely weather over the weekend on the cool side, but but uh, very sunny for three days, which is very lovely. So here we, here we are. Um, a limited palette of uh, uh, yellow ochre or raw sienna. Yellow ochre, lemon yellow, white, uh, that red I'm not really using. A bit of light red there, which is so similar to the burnt sienna. <coughs> I'll use the burnt sienna. Bit of alizarin crimson here and there, ultramarine and black. <coughs> now I'm building up a texture. This is this is fairly rough surface. You can, you can hear it, but I'm building up a texture. I'm adding a little bit of texture paste with it as well. Um, for the that to really show up, I want that dark round here. So, so I'm mixing a bit of uh, black, a bit of a bit of sienna, burnt sienna. It's just it's just like a pond or water in the reeds, in the reed beds. A bit of texture paste mixed in with it. Just thickens up the, the paint on the board. And nice when you drag over it then when it's dry. So let's put some, some lighter stuff in here now. So whatever you put on you're, you're going to change. So. So I'm using these very wide, long inch flats that I got from, from DIY places. They're very, very nice to use. And you can do a lot of this. Just to show lots of different bits of grass, but, but nothing individual yet. We, we want to just build up a, a surface, really. I, I, I bodged all this really. Bodging is a way of, is a word, a particularly English word. Make it up as you go along and if it looks alright, let it go. We'll get some lighter gra grasses in here. And I'll, at the end I'll put in some single strokes just to to make it look a bit more realistic. I have to start keeping my colours out. Uh, this is raw sienna. Well, raw sienna, but I'll just take it as it comes. Raw sienna, it's uh, a bit darker than the ochre. But still a, a nice, nice natural earth colour. Just break those up a little bit. You could spend hours and hours and days and weeks and years doing all grasses as separate uh, strands. And to do that, you need fine brushes and a pretty smooth surface. I like rough surfaces. So I might have to do this in a couple of goes because of the size of the picture and, and the detail. But I want, I want that bank to come across there a little bit. <coughs> So I've increased the size of that. I've got a lot of calligraphy to do in those. 
as we get round when we get round to it. But use all the bits of the brush. But a, a good bit of advice is to use the largest brushes you can that you can get away with. Don't fiddle around with little tiny sables and things. They're okay for a fine detail, but but for the bulk of this, we're going to change it all anyway. Just use the biggest brushes you can, you've got that are com you're comfortable with. So we'll uh, put some warmer grasses in there. I say it's, it's quite a lot of um, acreage of grass to to show meadow salt marsh Norfolk Broads this is a sort of a stab at it it doesn't exist in my photograph album I'm basing it on previous work I just love doing all this it, it's, it's good fun and it, you, a little goes a long way I know but uh, but we're covering up the, the base of this was a black and a red, a light red. Light red's never really light, is it? But it, it helps the grass, the green of the grass. Problems I know you have with uh, making greens, but, but my greens are made with the black and the lemon yellow, modified with the burnt sienna or the light red, or red, whatever you fancy. Now we're putting some darks back in there now, some blacks and mixed with the the red of the burnt sienna, a bit of texture paste mixed in with it. I will uh, this will represent the shadow area of of these grasses. Uh, I'm just building up this in this surface. I can use a bit of blue, a bit of uh, crimson in there, a bit of white. Make it blue rather than uh, brown. My my sienna. Oh, sorry, my alizarin crimson is dried. So somewhere in here, I've got a tube of it, but I don't know where. Um, so we'll uh, cadmium red lights. Ooh. Not sure where my and crimson is. I've got some magenta, I don't know what the colour that is. We'll uh, just clean it off my palette. Sorry, but, uh, my palette's been going for three weeks now. Uh, magenta, what colour is magenta? Yeah, well that's quite nice. Can you see that? That's quite a nice mauve looking alizarin. It's probably very weak in, in staining ability. So let's uh, mix it with a blue and a bit of white. I think it's probably too too light, but it, but it gives gives a, a, gray, a nice grey, which will complement some of the other colours rather than just a black. Where we can need the uh, lighter, greyer uh, shadows, shadow stuff. I call things stuff because it stops me naming them and then painting things from memory. <coughs> well, well, that gives a, a nice bit of distance too, doesn't it? Well, you don't have to agree with me, but. So that, that makes it go back a little bit. More, more lights to go back in here. So let's mix a bit of black with that. So I like magenta really. 
if I pull my drawer with some of my acrylics in out, it will have, it will disturb my tripod. So, right, let's do that for a minute. Use a smaller brush, and I just want to go into there. That's just a bit of uh, grass sticking above there. That's why I want some dark in there. Okay. Put some some light, some greeny. Oakery stuff on there. Oh, okay. Now look, with my rigger, I'll just try and establish some some branches and trunks on that tree on the right. Ooh, not quite loose enough. Needs a lot of water with uh, really fine stuff. Let's put a lot of branches in there. You can also put lights. Uh, branches in as well. Let's just make that a little bit thicker. Just want to establish something nearer than that distant hedgerow or more distant hedgerow. Okay, let's get something in the canopy there. Right, let's just try a bit of the light colour in there. Got a lot of work to do on these. Clean my brush very, very thoroughly. We're going to put something in the base of that to to anchor it a little bit. Get my anchoring brush. Uh, well, that's near, so we have done a little green. Oh, so cramped. Okay, 
so we would have put a bit of darkish stuff behind that. Okay, and let's uh, put in some light up here. Going down there, slight slope. Ah, it's okay. Some more warm darks in here. Well, we can leave that. We can think about that later. Now, um, <coughs> I want to go to a larger tree in there maybe, so we'll put in a bit of a background and we can greeny darks Right, so uh, got a thicker sable, well, nylon mix probably. <coughs> um, so let's, uh, I'll try this flat, it's nice and dark. Uh, so we'll. Uh, Right, something like that. Just, just to start. Now let's. Uh, that's going to be a, a near, obviously a near, near tree. And plenty of water. Using a rigger. I've obliterated those trees behind, but I knew I was going to do something like that. Uh, let's just. Build this tree. Nice silhouette black. Sorry for masking a little bit.
because I'm right handed, my branches tend to go from right to left. I've got to make an effort. Bit of shape here. brushes we'll get a bit of a canopy on there. The thing is get the paint out of the, the end of the bristles where the ferrule is like gouge it out otherwise your hairs will split and your brush won't come to a lovely point. Right um, so The winter trees, the, what I'm putting on is really standing for lots of twigs. I'll, I'll put more branches in there. But. Some lighter greens in there, I think. Mix it with a bit of raw sienna. See, that's a way of showing lots of grass just by pushing the long bristles. I have to redo this. Good idea, this is the way David Shepard does his grasses in his animal pictures, his elephants. Get a nice big thick bristle brush and break it up and <coughs> just push away. And you get this lovely random, random, random effect. The idea was just catching a bit of the, uh, the evening light on the tops of these canopies here. Look at that, just show some of that light coming through and that dry. Now it's taking a bit of dry brush. We can get capture some of these highlights. I 
I'll work on the, the rest of it tomorrow if I don't do any proper work. <sighs> stipple just to show you some seed heads That's some nice light greens. Sure beats uh, putting individual ones in, isn't it? You've got to try these things yourself and see what works. And it doesn't always work for me. But you can, because it's acrylic and dries quickly, you can go over this very, very quickly, as you see me do. There's a light in there. On that, I'm going to put some ivy. <coughs> it cries out for a bit of uh, a bit of ivy. So I wanted that one to stand separate from those. It might not be quite big enough. Uh, right. Let's go back on that water now and see what we can do with. Uh, the light red, or sienna, a bit of uh, ochre. Oh, let's just get the lighter bits in there. When that's dry, I can I can um, remember what I was going to say. I can put the reflections back over them. The cloud, the clouds reflecting in the in the lake. So we'll. Uh, 
now this where we, we put darks there now coming down reflecting in that what I'm trying to do is to put the lightest lights against the darkest darks here but leave that lovely bit of white light going through there and I can go over that with um, a bit of uh, light but this is where we've got the uh, the dark reflections coming in there. Just clean the brush off. Right, now with my, my stipple brush, I've worn out uh, flat, it might have even been, a, I think fish is where it's slightly rounded, so flat but rounded. Right, black, sienna. I can put some nice lights back on there, catching the uh, the last of that sunshine. Now let's get all that nicely on there. Coming back from from uh, the south coast today, you can see these lovely trees all covered in ivy. Although they've got their spring greens on them now. So I can put some more bits and pieces in there. So I'm going to let that go for today. I'm going to put it back in a, in a frame and you can have a look and see, see where we're going. Bear with me. Well, it's almost as soon as you paint these things, they're dry. So here it is, so far, that's far. So we've got quite a bit of work to do on it. I've done the bulk of it, but I've a bit of doctoring up here, a bit more detail in here. Bring some light back in that tree and put some more calligraphy in and generally across there. Bring some stuff up here. But I think we're, we're on the right, right track, but we do need some Detail. I'll give you an example of uh, 
slightly yellowy. Oh. Now I've got I've got a uh, surface on the paint. It's, you can, you can do something you can do, but we don't want to do a lot of it. It's shorthand. A few is it's short. It's shorthand for a lot because your eye, or you, or your brain will be informed, or your your brain will receive the the uh, impression, and your brain will convert it into a lot. But it's a few. That might be just a little bit messy, but uh, we'll have a look at that tomorrow. Let's just uh, come down a little bit. There you can see the whole lot. So there we are. Thanks for watching. Part two tomorrow, I hope. I'll upload this.